Hi, I'm Leslie McVeigh. I'm here at University of New England for another member highlight. The um, featured member is the Cancer Community Center, and they're doing their cycle for, for care. And I'm here with our executive director, Tom Mandel. Hi, Tom. Hi, I'm glad to be here. We always like to support our members by, with video. That's part of our mission, and I guess I'm getting right into it by uh, participating in this fundraiser. Yeah. I was going to do it with you, but I have a brand new niece, so you've got to work doubly hard for both of us. Okay, great. All right, so why don't you go get on your bike and get, get started. Right. Thank you. And we're going to be interviewing a few other people um, as they come in. So let's watch Tom get on his bike. Well, now I'm with Jennifer Nelson. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, how are you? Fine. Now tell me about this event. Yeah, this is Cycle for Care. It's our fourth annual event. We started out with 12 bikes at a small gym on a Sunday afternoon four years ago. And here we are at the University of New England. We have 120 bikes. We're just getting kicked off. And we're going to be spinning for eight hours to raise money for the Cancer Community Center. And many of these people people have someone they love or they may themselves may have been a victim of this thing we call cancer. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we know that one in three men and one, one in two women and one in three men have cancer in our lifetimes and it touches everybody and that's a key focus of the Cancer Community Center is everything we do is not just for patients, it's for family, friends, caregivers, co-workers because it does affect everybody in our community. Thank you for doing this. I wish I could ride next year. Yeah, next year your knee will be in great shape. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks, Jennifer. I'm Courtney Kendall from UNE. Does the hockey and lacrosse team, do they do this every year? Oh yeah, every year. Um, I did it with lacrosse last year and it was an awesome experience. So I convinced the hockey team to come out this year and that's who we got here right now. Do you have any family members with cancer? Um, yeah, actually my grandfather passed away um, from non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and then my grandmother passed away with, from lung cancer. So. so you're here for them? Yeah, exactly. I'm biking for them. I'm biking for a good cause. Good for you. Thank you. Well, I'm with Amy Anderson now. Hi, Amy. Hello. You're the communications director, right? I am. I am. We've met before and in a studio. This is much more exciting. <laughs> it's crazy. It's good energy. It's such great energy. I mean, you can just feel it. <laughs> and you're there as a resource for people who just don't know where to turn. Yes. Yeah, the place to start when you don't know where to begin. That's our slogan. And you're right there with them right through the whole process. Yes, we. our goal is to have people come as soon as they get a diagnosis or a loved one gets a diagnosis. So people can feel that they're proactive in their own care and diagnosis. Absolutely. And they want to talk to somebody else who's walked in these same shoes. And there are no shortage of people who know exactly what they're going through. So. And want to help. Yes, exactly. Well, this is exciting. Oh, the music's getting louder. <laughs> now, Amy, are you going to ride? I am. I'm going to wait and find out when. I'm going to be here till midnight, so I'll ride. <laughs> I wish you could ride next year. I've already promised on air that I'm going to do on it. On air, next year. it's going to happen. Leslie will be here. Well, we're going to go check on Tom again. He's Good. riding away. All right. Thank you, Amy. Thank you. Now, Tom. It's going great. You're breathing. Yeah, I'm still breathing. <laughs> you look good. Might need to wipe your head a little with your CTN t shirt. <laughs> Keep it up. Keep it up. Thank you. I'm with Cindy Williams from Channel 6. Now, you're here to encourage people. That's right. This is such a great event, and I love the Cancer Community Center. I can't believe all the people here. This is just a terrific turnout. So clearly, it's, it's a place that really touches the hearts of lots of people. And to have that kind of resource for friends, for family, for, our, for patients themselves is just a tremendous help. It, when you're going through something as, as shocking and devastating as a cancer diagnosis, it's really great to know that it's not a death sentence, <laughs> that there are, there's a lot of life to be lived, lots of great things that can be done, lots of encouragement. It's just a wonderful place. Well, thank you for being here to get everyone geared up and going. And Happy to be here. Yeah, I think it's great. Maybe next year we'll be on the bike. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> thank you, Cindy. Well, um, that's it for um, my interview today, but this is going to be going on till midnight. And if you're not here today, 
come next year. It's a really great organization doing wonderful things. And what fun it is. I wish I was on a bike right now. That's it for Community Television Network membership highlight.